here with Michael Snyder, who's the chair of the genetics department here at Stanford and an attendee at the Big Data Conference. But what we really want to talk to him about today is his watches. Okay. So can you uh, show me your watches you got here? Sure. So this is an Apple Watch. It measures heart rate, uh, activity of all sorts, and uh, it's also very connected to my iPhone, so I can do my phone calls and other things from it. And this is a hot new item. I mean, how did you get one? It is. Well, we ordered one a little bit ago and it did come. We ordered several because I'm actually studying about 100 people in incredible detail. And so um, we've ordered several so we can start rolling them out to our subjects. Cool. What's the study about? The study is about profiling people incredibly deeply. We make billions of measurements as we sample people, meaning all their DNA, RNA, proteins, metabolites, microbiome. We sample, sample them and make all these measurements and we follow them uh, across healthy states and disease states. So when they get viral infections, things like that. And we also uh, profile them depending on what they eat and things. So as we run them through different diets and such. You know what that sounds like to be? Big data. It's big data. We have about a half a petabyte of data just on me. And we will have several petabytes of data within the next year or two on the whole 100 people. What, I mean, what's a petabyte? How many? I can't even fathom that number. A petabyte is 1,000 terabytes. Uh, Terabytes, a thousand gigabytes, and uh, uh, I guess a gigabytes, a thousand meta metabytes. <laughs> very, very big. Right. So let's look at your other watches, because okay. you don't just have one; you have uh, how many? Uh, I have three, but these are these are basis watches, so they do somewhat similar things. So we're going to compare them. They follow heart rate and um, skin temperature, stress, which is really conductance across your skin. What I like about this one is that it also measures your sleep, mm -hmm. and they all measure your steps and your biking and your running and such, so they really measure your activity as well. And these basis watches, can you get those in the stores? You can, yes. You can order them, I should say. Okay. And which one is your favorite? Uh, I'm evaluating them all. I'll let you know. They do slightly different things, so I like them each for their own special reasons. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Sure. At Big Data, this is Marion Shapiro.